Hey guys, Kenny here, the Hobby Cop, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, so as you can see in the title, I'm sending in another uh, PSA submission. Um, obviously the prices have gone up, uh, but luckily the group submitter that I submit my cards through, um, their price was guaranteed until today when I'm filming this, so yesterday when you're probably seeing this. Uh, so I was able to get this submission in underneath the old prices so it's a little bigger than I was actually planning but it's just to make up for the price difference any cards I was looking to get I guess graded in the future I guess might as well do them now with the old prices um, so as the the title also says I'm doing mainly Marvel uh, and then I'm throwing in some different like football and um, basketball ones, baseball. A lot of stuff is personal collection. Even half the Marvel is just for my personal collection. So I'll tell you as I'm going through kind of like what service I'm sending them through uh, and what grade I'm expecting to get from them. So let's switch over to the cards. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the lovely card breaking screen in the background. You can see I got a Spider-Man. I got a Hulk Hogan, Barry Bonds, Rookie. Some Emmett Smith, uh, the one with all the glare in the corner is a Bo Jackson breaker. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll do this in reverse order, I guess. Um, so I'll save like my my favorite ones for last. So first of all, this is being sent on the slow service. Um, so this is going to be back in I guess hopefully nine months. Um, we'll see. Uh, you never know with the backlog. So we'll start here. We have my first card is a Tom Brady 2020 Prism, obviously. Um, I picked this up actually out of a dollar box. Um, so I'm sending it in hoping to get at least a PSA 9. Uh, I would say it's a little off centered, a little narrow on this side uh, compared to the other. Uh, but like I said, with the old pricing, uh, sending this in for whatever it is going to be like 15 bucks or something, uh, I think it's worth it. Worth it. So uh, 2020 uh, Prism, uh, Tom Brady, obviously his first year in the Bucks uniform and winning the Super Bowl, his number seven. So that's going to go off. Next, I have a John Morant. Um, this is, I think, Essentials Pink, they call it. Um, I think this is a great looking card. I don't see any flaws with it at all. Um, I'm not really sure how they do centering on cards without a border. Um, but yeah, so we'll see if that comes back as centered. And like I said, these are a lot from my personal collection. So I'm sending uh, that one in the slow service as well. Next we have a Justin Herbert. This would be kind of like a, a parallel, the orange, uh, this is from Playbook. I know these are kind of uh, a cheaper card, but it's actually one of the only two Justin Herberts I was able to pull this year. Um, so I'm sending him off on the cheaper service. Hopefully come back middle to the end of late uh, next year's football season. I may sell this one off. Uh, the next Justin Herbert here, the Rookie Rush, I really like the look of that. Um, so I'm going to keep this one for my personal uh, collection. Obviously, I'd love for it to get a 10. Uh, but if it doesn't, that's fine. Um, so I'm assuming, like I said, I didn't look at enough of these cards to see how they're made up. But obviously this border is a lot bigger than the bottom. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. But uh, anyway, that one's going off for my personal collection. Next I have uh, Bo Bichette. I'm a big Blue Jays fan. Uh, this was his opening day blue foil, they call it. Uh, it's in mint shape. No scuffs, marks, or anything like that. Um, again, without borders, it's hard to tell what they judge for centering on these because obviously there's only this one border, nothing compared on the other side. Uh, so hoping that this comes back at 10, that would be for my uh, personal uh, collection. So again, we have a Joe Burrow going off, uh, one of the only Joe Burrows I got this year. I got this actually through doing a card break. Um, it's a nice, uh, nice Joe Burrow. Obviously, it's not one of his high-end ones, but it's just nice to have one of his cards. Uh, and then finally, uh, I have a Fernando Tatis Jr. Alice in Ginter, uh, 2019. Um, I had a couple other Fernando Tatises, but I just like the look of this one. Um, other ones may have sold for a little bit more, uh, but if I'm keeping this for myself, you never know, I could sell it. Uh, but I like the look of that one, so that one's being sent off again on the slow service. So for $15 a card, uh, and they say through the group submitter, uh, it is a nine-month guarantee. So we'll see if that uh, that is correct. So that is now I have these grouped because like when I you do the submission, obviously the pricing's 
difference. This is the modern pile. Um, so the next pile will be um, more older stuff here. So this group here will have some uh, Marvel and sports mixed into it. So first we have um, the Infinity Gauntlet uh, from the this is 1991 Marvel series. Um, this is uh, weapons, as you can see up in the front. So they would have your superheroes, your villains, uh, your weapons, uh, and famous battles, I think, for that set as well, just like the 1990. Uh, I'm submitting this one because Tate uh, wanted it for himself, so I'm sending that off to be graded. Um, it should be graded pretty good. Uh, maybe the center is a little weak on the top. Uh, but Tate wanted this for himself, so I'm sending it off to be graded for Tate. Um, next, uh, this one is not being sent off from the Rush service. Uh, even though it's in mint condition, um, it's a little weak on the centering on this side. So I have a feeling it's going to come back at PSA 9. Um, Captain America PSA 9 still sells for a decent amount of money. Uh, but the 10 is what I'm only willing to send off for rush rush service. Uh, so this is a number one card in the set, uh, Captain America 1990 Marvel Universe. So that's the next one. So again, here we have uh, Thanos uh, from the 1990 Marvel Universe set. Uh, this is card number 79. Um, I think the centering is pretty good on this. Anything a little weak on the bottom compared to the top. The sides are pretty even. Um, so sending it off of the slower service, so if it comes back at nine, selling it is still uh, worth something. Uh, the next one here is a 1990 Marvel Universe Rookies. Um, Tate requested this one as well for his own collection. Uh, so you can see it's one of the rookie cards. I think they had like, I don't know the exact off my head, but maybe like five different rookies where it said like rookies atop, across the top, even though, um, most of these cards are considered the rookie cards because it's the first set. Um, this is Ghost Rider 1990 card number 82. Uh, so that's being sent off as well. So now we're into some more sports stuff. So this is Troy Aikman. Uh, this is, so I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Sports, the teams that I like are for football, it's Dallas Cowboys. Uh, for basketball, it's the New York Knicks. And for baseball, it's the Toronto Blue Jays. So I grew up watching Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, Michael Irving. Uh, Jay Novacek, all those guys uh, winning Super Bowls. So this is Troy Aikman's Topps Trade It uh, rookie card. So this is one that's kind of considered his rookie because there's obviously there's other ones there as well. So this is 70T. Um, but yeah, it's a nice looking card. Um, I think if I'm being really picky, um, you'll get a 9 because it's a little off-centered. So it's a little light on this side, heavy on that side. Uh, but still, corners are crisp, edges are crisp, surface is perfect. Uh, so this will be for my personal collection. So whatever comes back, I will be happy with it. Um, this is from the 1991 Pro Set uh, football series. Obviously, Bill Belichick's rookie card. Um, if this would have been a PSA 10, I would have sent it off the kind of the express service because it goes for over a thousand dollars in a 10. Uh, I just feel that there's a little bit of whitening. And I don't know if you'll be able to make it out here. No. A little bit of whitening in a couple of the corners you can see up here. Uh, so I don't think it's going to come back at 10. Well, I know it won't come back at 10. I'm hoping for a 9. Uh, if it's a 9, it's still worth it. If it's 8, it's still worth it at, at this price. So setting that one off as well. So next we have uh, Chipper Jones. This is from 1991 score. First round draft pick for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, obviously Chipper Jones, Hall of Fame career. Um, so this is his rookie card. Um, what a beautiful picture of Chipper Jones on the back there. Um, but yeah, this card, I think this has the potential to come back as a 10. Uh, if I'm being critical, if you look at it here, it's a little light on this side, a little heavy on that side. So they do allow a little bit of leeway. Um, so if anything, it will come back a 9. I'm confident of that. Um, hopefully a 10. Next, this the next three cards I'm submitting for a friend. I uh, went over to his house and watched the Super Bowl, and he pulled out his cards, and I went through them, and I, we found some little hidden gems there for him, so I'm submitting these uh, off for him. So this is Topps Traded, uh, Bo Jackson's uh, Super Rookie card uh, from, what is this, 1988. Um, Do I have that right? Yeah, 1988 uh, is Bo Jackson Rookie card. Uh, to me, this card is mint other than... 
I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up there. Uh, yeah, you can see it right up here when I move it around. There's a little tiny speck. Um, I don't know if that's a printing imperfection or stuff like that, but that's the only marking on that card. The corners are crisp, the centering's awesome. Um, if this comes back at 10, that's a $1,500 card. Um, we're just setting it off on the slow service just in case it comes back a 9 due to that marking. Uh, but you can see the centering's amazing on that. And this is Bo Jackson's rookie card. Uh, next, um, my friend there wanted me to submit this one for him. It's a Barry Sanders rookie card. It's not considered his kind of like true rookie card. Um, is that? I think it's a Topps one as well. Um, but this is from the Pro set. Um, and it's in his... So the issues, I guess, with this one... Um, I guess pro sets sometimes aren't highly regarded sometimes. It's 1989, um, and also it's in his college uniform, so a lot of collectors sometimes don't like that. Um, but this, uh, the friend I'm sending this off for, he wants to keep this for himself. This is his favorite running back. Um, it'll probably come back a 9. You can obviously see the centering uh, is off there. Uh, so I think it'll come back a 9, and he'll still be happy with that. So next we have uh, Yarmi Yarger, Yarmi Yarger, Opichi Premier card. Um, this is 1991. Um, this is Yarmi Yarger's rookie cards with Pittsburgh Penguins. Obviously, amazing goal scorer. Um, his rookie card has slowed down a little bit over the past uh, months. It was on fire there, but I think so many people sent in cards, and there's a ton of PSA nines out there. Uh, so our hope would be that this would come back a PSA 10. Uh, you can see, if anything, being super picky here, it's a little light on this side. Um, so maybe a PSA 10. Still worth sending in for like $15 American. Um, fingers crossed it comes back a 10. Um, but I guess my bet would be a 9. It's still worth it um, for a PSA 9. But like I said, there's so many of them out there right now. Uh, the price has dropped compared to what it was a couple months ago. So now we're back into kind of a mix of cards here. Uh, we got another our Marvel Universe one here. Um, this is Thor. Um, sending this one off. I think I'm going to gift it to my brother. Um, and it looks like it may be a little weak on the bottom. Uh, so maybe come back at PSA 9. But that will be airmarked to him up in Toronto once it comes back. Uh, about sending that one off as well. This one, I wasn't sure about sending it in, um, and I ended up putting it in. It's not going to be a 10. Um, it's going to end up being a 9, just it's a little light on these two uh, edges. Um, but just kind of a historical kind of rebel, uh, card. When you look at it, it's about the World War. Uh, Red Skull has a Nazi flag in the background. I really don't think um, this type of card would be printed nowadays, especially with the Nazi flag on the back. Um, so you see here on the back, he's been trained by Adolf Hitler uh, to be a living embodiment of the Nazi cause. Uh, so I don't really, I think like for politically correct and PC, uh, I don't think this card would be made nowadays. So that's why I'm sending it off. I think it's kind of a little bit of piece of history. Uh, I think it will come back at nine, but I'm fine with that for spending uh, $15 on that. Uh, next we have Wolverine, uh, first edition or limited series one. Um, I think this card's going to come back at 10. Like if you look at all the corners, they're perfectly lined up. The edges are crisp. Uh, no issue with this card whatsoever. I think this will come back at 10. It's not an overly valuable one of the Wolverine cards. Um, I have another more valuable one that is, I'm going to send in Express. Uh, but this card I think is mint and I really like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, next we have. A card that I'm sending off, I was hesitant. I don't know if it's a bunch of eBay hype or what have you, uh, but this is a 1990 Don Russ um, Ken Griffey Jr. card. Uh, it's not his rookie card. 89 would be his rookie card. Uh, this is obviously 1990. Um, but the, what, now I think they're kind of like, what do people call them, like shell bidding or fake bidding. There's a couple of these cards that sold for like thousands of dollars. And what they say is super rare, uh, it's missing uh, the dot after ink. So if you see up here it says, I don't know if that will focus, no. Uh, but it says 1990 Leaf Ink. And I actually did look at different, and you see there's no dot there. So I actually did look at different eBay listings, and a lot of them do have a dot after the ink. Um, and then this one is supposed to be a misprint, doesn't have the dot. 
but you know what for uh, $15 I'll send it off I'll get it graded if that's just kind of like a hoax fake bidding um, so be it I have a nice Ken Griffey card the red will match the PSA header um, I think if I'm being critical we'll come back a nine due to being a little light versus uh, that edge but you never know maybe it is a rare card I don't know if you know leave a comment down below for me uh, but for 15 bucks I'll send it off and we'll see what happens uh, and finally I have a card um, obviously I said I was a big Dallas Cowboy fan I have tons of Emmett Smith cards um, but this one is Walter Payton one of the greatest I guess you say football players seems like greatest person um, that they ever played football too since they named the Walter Payton Award after him somebody that does a lot for their community and just an all-around great person um, and he's an amazing running back so I'm sending this one off I don't think it's gonna get a 10 that's why it's going off uh, the cheap service um, it's a little light there and on the bottom uh, but just a, a beautiful card um, and I'll get that graded and that'll be for my personal collection I'm not gonna sell uh, that so that was these ones are non-modern ones um, so it's a different pricing tier uh, than the first ones but now we'll go into the ones I'm sending off through the rush service all right so as you saw before I had another Captain America this was the best out of the two Captain Americas um, I think it looks obviously the corners are really crisp the edges are crisp the image is crisp there's no marks uh, nothing on the back number one uh, card of the series uh, so it's all going to come down to centering um, and I've looked and I've looked and I've looked and if anything it's so hard to say I'd say maybe it's a little light on this side and the bottom compared to the top like the very marginal uh, so I'm I'm hoping that this will come in a PSA 10 uh, so if it's like a I don't know like a, a 55 uh, 45 split that'll be enough to keep it a PSA 10 uh, so I'm hoping on that one so saying that on the rush service so that's the 45 day um, service I I think they listed it as 20 days but that's 20 business days from the time they receive it to the time they finish grading it so you put in weekends and you put in shipping it ends up being roughly 45 so the cards I have I have nine cards out right now on a 45 day service so um, last the month before I submit it they just came back in and it was roughly right around 45 days so again we're expecting those back the end of March so hopefully this comes back in another 45 days as a PSA 10 uh, the next is the Black Panther um, I think I sent this guy off uh, in my first submission the nine cards uh, but this is the second one I was able to pick up I got a second set and I'm thinking this will come back a PSA 10 uh, it's a little light on this border in this border when you look at it um, but I'm happy to get a PSA 9 on this um, so basically what I plan on doing is the two I send in if I get two nines if I get one ten I'll sell uh, the higher grade and keep one for my personal collection uh, so that's why I'm doing that so I'll have a double uh, same thing goes for Stan Lee here uh, I think this one is pretty nice uh, if anything this border is a little uh, lighter than that border uh, so I'm saying that off because in my last nine I sent in the other Stan Lee um, and again same same thing send the two off the highest one I'll sell off and then the other one I'll keep for my uh, personal collection I have no problem keeping PSA nines in my personal collection uh, nothing wrong with that um, so that one's going off and finally I think the best I'd say the best centered out of all of them why can't I pick it up uh, is this Wolverine one um, it's Wolverine number 10 uh, I think Wolverine has three cards he has this one um, well I actually think he has four cards this one the one that I showed you earlier was the magazine cover uh, he has another one where he's breaking through some glass and then another one I think where he has some type of uh, weapon in his hand uh, but this one again if I'm going to be picky on anything it's a little light on this side uh, versus this side uh, but again, these are all being sent off through my rush kind of service uh, 45 days still not a bad price. I think I pay $50 American. I'm here in Canada. So that translates roughly I think $76 Canadian to get these graded each um, Obviously if I get nines, I'm still making money um, If I get a 10 then I'm just laughing um, So there we got Stanley the Black Panther, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a 9. Captain America and Wolverine, I'm really hoping for 10s on these two. 
Um, so leave comments down below. What do you think? Um, what do you think of all the different cards? Um, so just to summarize, there's going to be three bunches. So this is my Express. This was my modern one that had like Tom Brady and Justin Herbert in it. Uh, then the other kind of like not modern had a lot of my football guys and baseball and stuff like that. So thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it, guys. All the subs and likes for the videos and the comments. I really enjoy the comments. Uh, people have been leaving like some of my videos have been getting like 40, 50 comments. People asking questions. People discussing things. So that really makes me happy to see all the engagement. Uh, so again, like, subscribe, leave a comment, say something, uh, and we'll see you on the next one.